Okay, I feel like I have so much to talk about today because I just went to one of the most fun... Actually, I had one of the most fun weeks in a while because it was full of different activities. First of all, I went to this tree house with alpacas. It was like a bamboo forest and it was so beautiful. It was so much fun. Yeah. Hey. This camera takes amazing video. Yeah, like, so you good. see look, it? Look, look, those eyebrows, man. Look at the, the, the far one's eyebrows. And then that same week, I went to Nashville for the first time ever and I wish I saw more because I was there for just one day and obviously I did not have a lot of time to do a lot of exploring. But the real reason why I went to Nashville is because I met Stephanie Garber and oh my god, I still can't believe that happened. Um, you know the all right now you may play it again now that i unless you have something else to say about that topic i'll allow, allow another comment i don't i just i think it's you, uh, um and i'm um, you see that I literally... feel arthur slip out of the backpack now that he has passed the threshold of heaven oh. that's, that's pretty bad. i'm literally i'm still at this point oh. that's so funny <laughs> i don't know I mean, I think... Only have a safe scum, you got a 20 room. <laughs> safe scum. Sounds disgusting. Oh, you actually heard it? Yeah, I heard yeah. everything about it. Nice. You said her clam's gonna be... Ah! <gasps> Lindsay! Oh my god! It's so cute! A little pingo! Pingo! You gotta... Yeah, so, basically, if you don't go to the crash, Blazon never has the realization. I pre-ordered the book because I wanted it to be ready and have it there so she can sign it. I ordered it, pre-ordered it, um, I forget when, but pretty much as soon as it was available to pre-order. And it arrived the day after the event. It was supposed to be the 26th. And it arrived as 27th so I was a little bit sad but not too sad because what I didn't know and probably was the information was there and I just don't know how to read is that the event included a free copy of the book so it actually turned out to be great because I still have my Barnes & Noble copy which has all the extras it has a bonus chapter it has all the little extras that the Barnes & Noble copies have but then I also have a free extra book at the event that is the one she signed and on top of all of that and oh my god I hope it arrives 
soon so I can include it in the vlog if not I'll just post it on my Instagram but I won one of the giveaways on her Instagram for the dust jacket with the front cover of Evangeline and Jax and the back cover of Evangeline and uh, Apollo but it's beautiful I'm still processing okay I don't know if you can tell but there's a lot going on in my mind and in my heart right now and I'm so happy so I'm gonna do my makeup real quick because I literally just woke up um I am gonna get it all close and personal with you right now okay so about the event um, I don't even know where to start. So we went to Nashville and the event was held at the, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but Parnassus, Parnassus um, Library, Parnassus um, Bookstore. And it was so beautiful. I, I have said it a couple times before, but I am partially new to the book world. I actually started reading as a hobby just like two years ago so there is not a lot that I have been able to explore and learn I have not been to a lot of bookstores in my life yet it's a goal of mine <laughs> so it felt really cool to just go and see new bookstores new places because mostly I do my book shopping at Barnes & Noble I love the place but it's always nice to find a smaller store it was very beautiful and the we actually went there earlier like way before the event started because this is still before i knew that i got a free copy with my ticket i thought you know what i know the barnes noble copy is coming tomorrow but i need her to sign a book and i was actually about to freak out about it because i thought i was coming to this event without anything for her to sign and i would never forgive myself for that so i went in earlier i got a copy and then that's when the lady told us like oh by the way it's free because it comes with the ticket so that was perfect we went out to eat i saw around the town super cool i need to go back to nashville i loved it but and then we went back for the actual event and it was her her editor interviewing her so that was kind of perfect it was really fun the interview was really interesting a lot of little facts about her her work her thought process how the step-by-step -step works for her to create a book all the work behind it is, is impressive also all the stuff that were supposed to happen or were originally part of the story that were changed it was such a fun event after that we all made a line we went to the book sign we said hi she was so nice it was such an amazing experience and i did not record because i i feel a little anxious about recording events like that like i i'm always thinking somebody's gonna come and tap my shoulder and tell me you're not allowed to record here and I am gonna die if that happens so I didn't record anything I forgot I'm doing my makeup I gotta continue <laughs> also I wanted to talk about the inspiration that I, <laughs> that I feel a little dramatic but how inspired I came out after that event the event, the interview, meeting your favorite author in the world, and the story itself, the story that, you know, she wrote, all of it together was one of the most, um, how do I call this? <clears throat> it was such a needed thing. Like, I didn't realize how much I needed that night until after, because I have not really been on an art block lately, at least I don't feel like I have. But after that night, is that I really realized like, okay, I might not be going through an art blog, but I was definitely not feeling inspired until now. <laughs> I came home with so many ideas, so many things I want to do. Not only ideas to paint, but just ideas that I want to do with my art, um, projects, and I'm, I'm just so excited. There's one that I actually started a while back and I just had it on pause. And this kind of 
you know brought back that desire to keep working on it so it was it was an amazing experience and actually today i'm gonna start working on one of them and i will bring you along as well but yeah it was so necessary i feel like i don't know if i actually achieved the goal but i try to tell stories with my art and that is always my favorite thing about painting even more than painting itself is the stories behind it so that really inspired me to keep working on some of my stories that i've been writing because i feel like i lack the ability to write in a way that it's enjoyable to read i don't know if that makes sense but you can appreciate the message behind a very badly written text you know what i mean so i feel like you know i can just paint that message and that way I can tell it in the way that I feel more comfortable telling it through visual images, through art that is the <laughs> art that you can just see rather than have to put my words into your mind and try to translate that because I feel like I do a horrible job at explaining myself and telling my story. I'm so ready to grab a pencil, grab a paintbrush, grab a canvas in my journal and just go to work. It's been so long since I've done a bold eyeliner and I feel like it's because I've had such a, an amazing week. All these experiences have made me feel like it's time for a bold liner. Wow, they're not even similar. <laughs> Maybe I should use an actual mirror. Whoa. <laughs> the camera lied to me. Man, I feel like myself right now. <laughs> okay. You know what? I think I'm ready. I was gonna do my lashes, but honestly, I kinda like it like that. I like the liner to be the focus of your attention. This is the new one, my new babe. And then here is the free one that I'm gonna put the dusk oh the dusk the one that I'm gonna put my dust jacket on and here I brought some evidence I like to get a little postcard everywhere I go so here's my evidence that I went to Nashville for the haters